Hi, I'm Mike Tutts. I'm an experimental particle physicist at Columbia University, and I work also at the Large Hadron Collider, and I'm here to tell you about the Higgs particle. So why should you be interested in the Higgs particle? Well, the Higgs particle tells us why elementary particles get their mass. How do they get their weight? And you might say, well, why do I care about that? Well, the reason you care about that is because if elementary particles didn't have uh, any weight and they were massless, well, you wouldn't be able to form an atom. And if you can't form an atom, you can't form molecules. And if you can't form a molecule, I wouldn't be here talking to you. There's a Higgs field everywhere in space, right now, with you, around me, everywhere. And it's that interaction of the elementary particles with the Higgs field that gives rise to their mass. OK, so if we have a Higgs field, quantum mechanics tells us there's going to be a Higgs particle. That's known as the Higgs boson. So how do you find it? How would you go about looking for it? Well, we have this huge detector working at the world's highest energy accelerator, which accelerates protons on protons at an energy of 8 TeV, 8 trillion electron volts. Once we do that and the particles collide, they collide inside our detector. Our detector is called ATLAS. It's huge. It's about the size of an eight-story building, and it's twice as long as that. It's got a large number of different uh, particle detectors inside it. In fact, it's got about 100 million pixels. 100, think of it as 100 million channels of electronics or like a 100 megapixel camera. You might not be impressed with a 100 megapixel camera, but the reason you should be impressed is that our camera actually takes as much as 40 million pictures per second. So we take 100 billion protons coming from one direction, 100 billion protons coming from the other direction. They pass through each other. Every so often, a handful of those will actually collide head on with each other. And that's what we're looking for, that collision. And we take a snapshot of that. And so what we've done is we've now collected data for over two years. So we've taken trillions and trillions of collision events and out of those, sifted through them to get what is now, at best, a handful of events that might potentially be a Higgs particle. So how come it's called a God particle? Why do the people do that? Well, uh, it, it arose because a, a rather famous physicist by the name of Leon Letterman, a Nobel Prize winner, wrote a book called The God Particle. And the way he tells the story is, originally, because people have been looking for this particle for the last 40 years, his original thought was, I'd like to call this book The Goddamn Particle. But his editor said, no, that probably isn't such a good name. So why don't we call it The God Particle? And the reason that you can say that it's called that is, as I mentioned, that that's the thing that lets us, that lets part elementary particles have mass, that leads to atoms, that leads to us. So in that sense, our existence is due to the fact that there is such a Higgs particle around.